I've been thinking about your question, and... Well, suppose we look at these snapshots together, hmm? Snapshots? Mm-hmm. Well, what do they have to do with love? Oh, I was just thinking that they... This is your daddy and I in various states of undress. <laughs> because videotape is really expensive. I found these that... Polaroids. I found these Polaroids. <laughs> that may help explain things. <laughs> of me, your dad, and the mailman having a really good time. <laughs> There's the mailman delivering a special package to mommy. Let's look at these snapshots. Oh, <laughs> snapshots? <laughs> Little got on the camera in that shot. That's not a ghost. That's your dad's. <laughs> that was your dad when he could shoot one across the room. <laughs> now he's lucky if it dribbles out. <laughs> That's how I knew I was in love. He shot it across the room. I'd literally stand in the corner and go, for catch. Oh, my God. Oh, there's the mailman giving your dad a reach around. <laughs> your dad was into things like that back then. Now he's just an old asshole. Now all he does is cry every time he sees the mailman. Uh, oh, my God. Oh my god. Where does this show go? What? <laughs> Where does it go? It's like a Might sweet help you sweet subject to understand like love. <laughs> and how your capacity for love grows and develops just as you grow and develop. Here. Look at this. Take one. some of these. <laughs> <laughs> this is pure estrogen. Mixed with amphetamine, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. You're going to go hair on your chooch on <laughs> boobs before you know it. Yep, just take this. <laughs> just take these. <laughs> Here. It's the downfall of civilization. <laughs> oh, mother, did you have to keep that? You know, in a way, you were in love even then. Every baby loves its parents for their care and protection. Of course, some people expect that care and protection all their lives. They never grow up. But it is a kind of love. Like your brother, David, <laughs> who's currently downstairs in the basement doing nothing but watching Leave it to Beaver 24 hours a day. <laughs> um, people. And eating those newfangled TV dinners, the kind you put in the, the oven that have aluminum foil on the top, <laughs> that are scolding hot when they come out, but frozen in the middle. <laughs> And they're always turkey and gravy. Always. Always. <laughs> now, compare that with this picture. Oh, that's the boy who used to live next door. My, how he did love his teddy bear. Love? That's right. That's a kind of love, too. Possessiveness. The kind between a man and his teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> What you can't see in this picture is a, a hole in the <laughs> anus of this teddy bear. It's a special kind of love between a man and his teddy bear. <laughs> Jimmy really wore that thing out. I had yeah. to sew that hole up multiple times. A love for the things you own. <laughs> Some of us never get over being possessive when we're in love, do we? You're beginning to understand. <laughs> now... Here's a snap that shows how we learn to return love by doing things for others. <laughs> Here's one of me on your knees, <laughs> on my knees with your father on wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta return it. Uh, here's your return father. Love. Here's your father deep in my, <laughs> deep in my valley. Look at those two mountains. <laughs> well, what about love of our friends? Isn't that a stage of love? Yes, I think it is. Here, look at this. Why, that's Betty and Ellen and Anne. I took that picture with my first camera. Oh, I know. There was a time when I wouldn't look at anyone but my special friend. I <laughs> oh, that's that sounded creepy. Yeah, that was weird. My special friend. My special friend. I walked around with a mirror between my, my legs for three months. Friend. <laughs> my special friend should never be friend. used. Yeah, <laughs> never. <laughs> words. But back then, none of this was creepy. And she's talking about possessiveness and her yeah. friends. And this is not the way you teach love. Oh, the mom goes, now you're, now now you're, you're getting, getting it. it. <laughs>
<laughs> now you're getting it. The downfall of civilization <laughs> right here in front of my eyes for all to see. I guess that was a stage of love. Yes. And boys go through a similar stage when they stick together in gangs and won't have anything to do with girls. We soon change that. <laughs> They're whacking each other <laughs> off. It's called a circle jerk. It's called a circle jerk. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> Boys can't control themselves. They're literal heathens. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, do you remember this picture? The captain of the football team. That was two or three years ago. <laughs> you could, he didn't wear a cup. You could see his <laughs> junk. <laughs> That's what I found that out what captain. a button penis looked like. <laughs> Barely there, Mom. Barely there. He never knew how much I loved him. I guess he never knew I existed at all. <laughs> well, we all go through crashes like that on teachers or sports stars or movie stars. Then after a while, there's a stage that some people call puppy love. Why, that's more. I'd almost completely forgotten it. Remember? I've got the opposite of puppy love. I've got like <laughs> whatever that is for the dogs, the puppy love. I've got the opposite of that for Nico and Blue currently. <laughs> As Nico continues his process of decomposure right in front of our eyes. And I think Blue is sensing blood in the water. She's like just Blue. circling him yeah. 24 hours a day, waiting for him to die. Poor guy. <laughs> I know we got to put him outside now when he sleeps. It's bad. I mean, we got to put him outside, like outside of the, the room when, mm. when they sleep because it, anyway. Remember how important it seemed at the time? I'll say, and it really was important as a part of learning how to love and be loved. I think I can tell puppy love. Oh look, there's the couple who met at camp last summer. <laughs> I certainly caught them. <laughs> She's pregnant now. <laughs> <laughs> there's that couple I met. I can't bless. Rumor is she got pregnant and no one's heard from her since. <laughs> right. Oh, honey, she went to the cat skills. Where other pregnant girls her age go? Right. Yes. And that's another stage where the physical side of love dominates. That's when Brian comes in. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime girl. Physical. I know I'm a little old for you, young lady. <laughs> But I've got a presentation you will not want to miss. <laughs> Sometimes this is mistaken for mature love. But there's a difference. Mature love. That's a new way of thinking about it. How can you tell when love is mature? Well, <laughs> mature love... <laughs> well... Well, when there's hair down there, you're on your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, when you open up a pair of jeans and you see a big bushy puzzle roll out of uh, just wild, uncontrolled pubic hair, that's you can consider that mature love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Here's another way you can't stop having sex with each other. <laughs> Literally, twenty four hours a day. That's all you want to do is hump like little rabbits. That's mature love, also. Mm -hmm. Love is more settled. Mature love has something of the other kind of love in it and something more. Listen to the Disney music in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine anybody watching this and going, yeah, spot on. Yeah, I'm learning about love. I'm totally confused. There's puppy love, love with friends, there's circle jerking going on. There's the kind of love you have with a tree, the kind you have with a teddy bear. What does this have to do with Jack? <laughs> I just wanted to know about Jack. Do they go with a double date? It's uh, tender. They're gonna go. They're gonna go. They are. Unselfish. They have loads of fun. Cooperative. <laughs> when I get Lo serious, loads is the key word. I want to have that kind of love. That's a good idea, dear. And if you aren't sure, you can always ask yourself some questions. Do you get a tickling in your wick and your pickle? <laughs> if you get a tickle, tickle in your pickle, pickle, it's like. It's likely you're in love. Mm -hmm. Are we really interested in the same things? Do we feel at ease together? Are we proud of each other? Do we agree on the basic things such as religion, marriage, children, money, and so on? 
Thanks, Mother. I know that'll help. I hope so, dear. Yeah, I hope so, dear. <laughs> Good luck with that. I actually don't give a shit. I'm so high I can't feel my face. Right. <laughs> my teeth are numb. Are they still there? I feel like I'm wearing dentures. <laughs> You ought to agree on the basic stuff. <laughs> like, what time is math class? <laughs> Are we really interested in the same things? Do we feel at ease together? Are we proud of each other? Are we agreed on basic things? I wonder. I'm going to watch Bob and Jean. See if they have a mature love. I'm going to watch Bob and Jean through the window later on and see what kind of love they have. Do we have the gray on the basics? Like, which hole should we put it in? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this show is not brought to you by Fireside. I just <laughs> want to let you know. <laughs> The big city lights, the bright bustling streets, and the loud street musicians. It's time to go on a double date. I've been here for quite some time. Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. I've never been here before. Oh, we're so glad you could come. It's great. It's a drag show. You're gonna love it. <laughs> They bring out a donkey at the end. I don't want to surprise me. I don't want to ruin the surprise. How old are you? 13? Nah, you're old enough. Back in my day, six months ago, I'd already seen two of the donkey shows. Just wait. Yeah, just take it in. This is one of our favorite spots. Yes, we sort of found it together, you might say, and we come here quite often. Oh, the real Chinese dishes are over here. Thanks, Bob. Oh, Bob, look what came today. What? Oh, the season tickets for our concert series. And guess what? You're going to have to sit through another concert by that young French pianist you didn't like. You mean the same one we saw last season? That's right. Maybe this year you'll agree with me that he has real talent. Well, maybe. But don't... <laughs> maybe, or maybe I'll slap you in the face <laughs> right. for making me go see that Frenchman. He's got a huge penis. <laughs> I know you got a crush on him, Betty. <laughs> That's enough with your shit. What's your problem? I don't think they're liking the same thing. What kind of yeah? What kind of concert series? Are they? <laughs> Get that what, concert are they sixteen? Series. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they're already going tennis. to see French pianists and Buddy Holly playing or something somewhere. <laughs> I mean, seriously, where's Ed Sullivan when you need him? <laughs> Isn't the Dick Van Dyke show on? Or I don't know something. French I love Lucy. Pianist. Yeah, French concert pianist you hated. Of course I did. He's a La- that was last year. That was last this year. This year, yeah. they're back again. He's back again, playing the same shitty Guess music he was back then. Back again. <laughs> Guess who's back again? Direct a chicken. Let's begin. I'm the French pianist. Steal your girl. I've been doing a tour around the world. Hey. Welcome to that French music concert you hate. I am the French musician you hate. But since you've got concert season tickets, you might as well come and listen. (laughs) The French musician. What? Oh, Oh, this is great. Just 60 years later, widespread panic is touring around. (laughs) Just wanted everyone to know that. You don't have to go see that French pianist. (laughs) Only if he's improved. Oh, Bob. Well, at least we'll have fun debating it. (laughs) Do Bob and Jean have a mature love? Are they interested in the same thing? I'll say that. No go. No go. They seem to have so many things to talk about and do together. Say, Nora, talking about music, have you heard the new recording of the Brahms Violin Concerto? (laughs) Concerto? What? (laughs) Have you heard the new hot record? By the barbershop quartet? (laughs) Boardwalk favorites? (laughs) Speaking of music. (laughs) 
<laughs> Speaking of music. Yes. yes. <laughs> Have you heard that new concerto number five? Have you heard that new number five? is playing in the Waffle House jukebox. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, it's so much better when this orchestra does it than when the last orchestra did it. <laughs> so much better. You're a square, Jack, and I just don't like you. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, have you heard that new Elvis record? I know, right? Yeah, this is like in the 1950s. This is our 60s. This is not like, you know, yeah. 1922. Well, no. I, no. I guess I never really learned to appreciate classical music. Uh-huh. Are Jack and I interested in the same thing? I wonder. <laughs> he seems like more of an asshole than I am. <laughs> He seems like he likes different music. Yeah, he seems like the kind of guy that would date men. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a feeling. Another question Mom asked. Do we feel at ease with each other? You know, there's, there's no telling what we'll get, but I'm willing to take a chance if you are. Oh, that's the fun of it, Bob. What about some of this watercress salad? That's a fine idea. Bob and Jean certainly are at ease with each other. But what about us? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm going to have the leg of lamb. Oh. Well, I thought it would be fun to try a Chinese dish. That's all right if you like that stuff. Me, I'll stick to the lamb. Well, oh, come on, Nora. Take a chance with us on the lobster Cantonese. Oh, I'd like that. <laughs> no. Take a chance with us on these live cats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just fine, but I think I'll have a cheeseburger. <laughs> the leg of lamb. Because there's nothing better at a Chinese restaurant than the cheeseburger. Oh, I don't always feel at ease with Jack. He's so unpredictable. I guess I am, too. We don't really know each other. And Mom talks about being proud of each other. I was- well, I'm not proud of Jack. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's a real shithead, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. I want to hide him away. I hope no one sees us. <laughs> Sometimes I call him David in front of other people, so they won't know it's Jack. I wonder if I could ever be as proud of Jack as Jean is of Bob. Not right here and now, maybe. But he does have his point. When he gets out on that ball diamond, anybody would be proud of him. But I wonder if we'd ever agree on basic things. Jack, do you know who I saw today? I saw Bill Johnson and his wife. You know, they've got a fine pair of little kids. They dress them up like cowboys. Oh, kids are such fun. Don't you think so, Nora? Well, I... Oh, here's the waiter with our soup. Children. Oh, we've never talked about things like that. Or religion, or marriage, or money. Bob and Jean really understand each other. They do have a mature love. What have you guys been talking about for two months? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just asking a question. <laughs> We've never talked about anything. <laughs> we uh, don't know anything yeah, you don't about know what each music other. he likes. You're mm. not sure what he likes to eat. No you don't religion, even know, yeah. politics. No religion, nothing. politics, sex. Yeah. Uh, no. Mm, I, w- <laughs> I would venture to say that this is not the. Th- not, the a really, not a mature love. It's not a mature love. Nora, I... I... About our talk at the dance yesterday. In the garden, you know. Well, I... I guess after seeing Bob and Jean... Well, I think that love... A a real mature love is more than I'd imagine. I guess so. On Bob and Jean, it looks all right. But... We're not ready for that kind of... Attachment, are we? But <laughs> I'm letting you down slowly uh, here, but I think your brother's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> do you think him and Gene are going to be together much longer? <laughs> you don't mind if I take a run at it, do you? <laughs> well, I guess not, now that you put it that way. I love how everyone's so agreeable uh, yeah, back then. Yeah, no, no you're, right. you're right. We're not ready for that kind of level of attachment. <laughs> I really just want to go and screw a bunch of other ladies. We can still have a lot of fun, can't we? Sure yes, we, we can. can. Sure we can. Would you like... Would you like to come in and I'll pound you over the couch? <laughs> oh, sure, Jack. That sounds like a swell time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about going roller skating next Friday night? Oh, Jack, that's a wonderful idea. That's the kind of fun I like. What time? About 8.15. Oh, swell. I'll see you then. 
Thanks for the seat. Good night. Good night. Well. Well, I wish another that, one for the books. I wish the Couch Guy <laughs> saga had ended up that well. <laughs> Right. That's right. Everything yeah. all's well that ends well. Exactly. They're going they roller say. skating. That's right. They're going roller skating. And they'll just continue to have just surface level surface conversation. Surface level conversation. <laughs> they'll be married. The weather. They'll get pregnant. They'll get married the in a couple skating. years. Yeah. They'll be divorced by 83. Right. Yeah. Uh, she'll be oh, your high school love. high school uh, English teacher <laughs> having sex with all the boys in the back room. You know how it goes. That's how it all ends yep. up. <laughs> wow. Woo! I had fun with that mature one. That one was a good love. one. Yeah. How do I know it's love? Well, just remember, you're looking for that mature love. Do you agree on things? Have you ever talked to each other before? Right. Do you do know anything? Do you like concerto anything? number yeah. five? Do you like that Frenchman who's playing the piano? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much fun here at the TCB studio. So much fun. Oh. www.tcbpodcast.com is where you go. Read more about Chrissy and I. You can get your... Sticker. Sticker number one is out there right now, and we have a few left. We gave a lot away at Mempho. We're sending out a batch this week, and there are still a few more left before we start number two. So go to tcbpodcast.com to claim your sticker, 661. Best to yo, that's 661. The word best, the number two. Yo, please text us or leave us a message if you have any content ideas, you want to talk to us, ask us a question, or just generally get in touch with us. That's the way you do it. Or on the website, Instagram, YouTube, like and subscribe, leave a review. You can do all that stuff and get your sticker. We love you. That's the bottom line. We do love you. We have a mature kind of love (laughs) for you. We do know what you like. We do know what you're into. We do have similar interests. If you've made it this far in the episode, we're in love. No doubt about (laughs) it. That's definitely mature. That's definitely a mature kind of love. Okay. What else? What else can we do today? I think that's it. I think that's it, too. I love you. I love you. Uh, best to you. Best to you. Okay, you got to practice. So i got to get back into best it after a couple of days. All best. right. Best to you best out to there you. in the podcast audience. Best to you. And best until you. next best time. Best to you. Best to you. Best to you. Bye. Bye. The Commercial Break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at YouTube.com slash The Commercial Break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at The Commercial Break on Instagram. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Hoagley, with additional content provided by Tina Connell.